everyone, I'm Secretary Deb Holland here at Stonewall National Monument. And I am Patty Gonia. And you're, you're watching This Week at Interior. Slay. This Week at Interior. This week, Secretary Holland and Assistant Secretary for Indian Affairs Brian Newland joined First Lady Dr. Jill Biden to visit the Menominee Nation in Wisconsin. The leaders learned about the tribe's economic and sustainability initiatives, addressed a women's empowerment summit, and got the chance to meet with some very excited young people. The visit highlighted how President Biden's Investing in America agenda is strengthening indigenous communities. It's National Wildlife Refuge Week and Interior announced two new additions to the refuge system. The Wyoming Toad Conservation Area and the Paint Rock River National Wildlife Refuge will be managed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service as the 569th and 570th units of the National Wildlife Refuge System. The expansion helps advance the Biden-Harris administration's America the Beautiful initiative. Secretary Holland visited communities across the country as part of the Biden-Harris administration's Investing in America tour. In Virginia, she highlighted how federal investments are helping to build healthy communities by restoring ecosystems and remediating abandoned mine sites at Blue Ridge Parkway. She and Assistant Secretary for Fish and Wildlife and Park Shannon Estenos also toured Great Smoky Mountains National Park in Tennessee, where the Inflation Reduction Act is helping provide funding to increase employee capacity promote forest resiliency, and protect natural and cultural resources. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service announced up to $36 million in funding for fish passage projects this week. The funding will address outdated, unsafe, or obsolete dams, culverts, levees, and other barriers fragmenting our nation's rivers and streams. To date, the bipartisan infrastructure law has invested $73 million in 79 projects through the service's National Fish Passage Program. These funds are investing in our nation's infrastructure and natural resources by reconnecting fragmented rivers, improving fish migration, and enhancing local economies. The Bureau of Land Management is improving sagebrush habitat thanks to $4.5 million from the Inflation Reduction Act. The funding will build on existing sagebrush conservation and restoration work for an additional five years. Sagebrush conservation efforts help hundreds of other species that rely on the habitat. That includes invertebrates, amphibians, reptiles, birds, mammals, and other plants. The Office of Surface Mining Reclamation and Enforcement has announced five states will receive the 2023 Abandoned Mineland Reclamation Awards. This year's awards go to Colorado, Iowa, New Mexico, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. Established in 1992, the Abandoned Mineland Reclamation Awards recognize exemplary state and tribal reclamation projects that reclaimed coal mine sites abandoned prior to the enactment of the Surface Mining Control and Reclamation Act of 1977. A new study reaffirms what the U.S. Geological Survey researchers and an international team of scientists discovered in 2021 human presence in North America dates back thousands of years earlier than previously thought. Ancient human footprints discovered in White Sands National Park in New Mexico show that early inhabitants and megafauna coexisted for several millennia before the terminal Pleistocene extinction event. In a follow-up study released this week, researchers used two new independent approaches to date the footprints, both of which resulted in the same age range as the original estimate. Just in time for National Fossil Day, the Paleontology Program at the National Park Service announced this week that a new species of petal tooth shark has been discovered. The now extinct shark was found in Rock Layer at Mammoth Cave National Park in Kentucky. The shark is more closely related to modern ratfish than to other modern sharks and rays. And our social media picture of the week. Happy Autumn! Rushing waters and rustling fall-colored leaves turn to Nellian Falls at Lake Clark National Park in Alaska into an autumn wonderland. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. That's This Week at Interior.